Hey, welcome to The Power of Helping. My name is Ruben Wax and I wanted to create this new series of self-improvement books and books obviously, as for so many people, have been instrumental in creating who I am today and really growing my knowledge about all the topics that I'm super interested in now. Uh, whether that's self-improvement, self-help, lifestyle, wellness, mindfulness, counselling skills, whatever it is. And I know that I'm sharing a lot of the great stuff that I've learned over the years in the videos, but I also know that a lot of people when they're watching these videos, they're going to want to start to really get into the nitty gritty and start reading some books themselves. Um, but I also know that from when I started looking into this kind of thing, that the self-help industry and the self-development, self-improvement book industry is just so oversaturated. It's almost impossible to know where to start. And I really remember this when I was trying to overcome my anxiety and stress disorders, that I really wanted to start somewhere, but I would be looking online. I tried a few books and they were all right, but it wasn't until I found Wrong and Chatterjee that it really set me on a path of really finding absolute gold dust. And so I wanted to make this series to share the best books that have had such a huge impact on me. And you can just get started if you're looking for just a couple of books to, to really start with. And um, I've been really inspired by Tim Ferriss's new book, Tribe of Mentors. And he basically asks around 150 of the world's top performers a bunch of these really great questions. But one of the questions is, what book have you given to people the most or has had the biggest influence on your life? And I mean, for me, there's no doubt that it is The Four Pillar Plan by Rangan Chatterjee. I mean, this book has changed my life in so many ways or just finding Wrong and Chatterjee, my absolute hero. God, just the greatest. This book has been so instrumental in me kind of finding my way. And I think around two years ago, I gave, I think every member of my close family a copy of this book. And I actually think that we might have given my ex-girlfriend, all of her family, a copy of this book as well. It's been that influential. But yeah, I wanted to kind of share this one as the first one because it was so critical for me. It was so important. So who is Rangan Chatterjee? He's a GP in England. He has a podcast called Feel Better, Live More. And he's got these amazing books. And he is an absolute driving force in the lifestyle movement, basically, because he, is, I think he's trained over 10,000 practitioners in how to prescribe lifestyle. So what is lifestyle medicine? It is basically understanding that a lot of our, Ill, a lot of our chronic illnesses, a lot of our unwellness, our dis-ease is caused by us and our, uh, it's caused by our environment and the way that we live our lives. So that could be our nutrition, uh, the amount, if we're sedentary all the time, if we're not moving enough, if we're looking at screens too much, uh, how much connection we're getting, all of these different things play a huge part in whether we feel well or we're doing good as humans. So the best thing about this book, The Four Pillar Plan, is that he's broken, he, he's, he's basically broken it down into four parts, which is relaxation. So that's like mindfulness, under, understanding stress, the fact that we have constant micro stress doses in our lives now, and that really adds up and it leaves us in a state of fight or flight. And so how to slowly reduce that stress uh, intake. Then he goes into nutrition. Obviously that's a huge part of us feeling good. Then he goes into movement and lastly sleep, which is such an overlooked area. And the reason why I wanna share this book is because it aligns so perfectly with my message from my channel, which is so important to me, which is that to really be there and care for someone and to actually care about what they're going through. If we don't feel good in ourselves, then we're not going to be able to be effective at 
thinking about what they're going through, empathizing and supporting them in the right ways. So I'd say for me, what was hugely impactful was when he brought out his second book, The Stress Solution, because what this does is it goes more into how the 21st century lifestyle plays a part in our not feeling so good. And I really found this when I was battling or trying to overcome my chronic anxiety and stress that so much of that was coming from a lack of true connection, a lack of purpose, which he goes into here, understanding our body, our mindfulness, and um, yeah, really working on these different areas. And so if you're finding that you're feeling pretty healthy, but something's just not right, um, you're just unhappy or whatever it is, then this is a great place to start. Bit of London sirens going on over there. Um, and so, yeah, I would just say these books have been so instrumental in my life that if you're looking for somewhere to start, I can't recommend these two books enough. And also what I'd really give a shout out to as well is his podcast, because that's actually how I found him. And the podcasts are an amazing resource because he's interviewed hundreds of, well, he's inter interviewed just over 100 people on the podcast, but hundreds of people over the years. And he shares the best knowledge that he's learned from all of these different experts in, in movement, in nutrition, in mindfulness, whatever it is, to, and he sh he's sharing the best of those, um, of that knowledge that he's learned on these podcasts with these incredible guests. So go check it out. I would say if you want to start with a couple episodes, I'd really recommend starting with 94 with Johan Hari. That was just instrumental in me understanding more about mental health, anxiety, depression. And then episode 82 with Peter Crone. I mean, just one of the greatest podcast episodes I've ever listened to. So go and check that out as well. Um, yeah, I can't recommend these enough. A top tip for, for kind of getting into these kind of books is I would just say take it slowly when you get them because you want to go through each bit and like, well, you want to go through each page and each exercise and try bringing them into your lives. And they're such easy reads that you can quite easily fly through the books. So give it a go, bring it in slowly and I really hope that you enjoy it and Go get the books, then come and let me know what you thought of the books and whether you enjoyed this. And I'm gonna have a think of what the next uh, next self-improvement books um, I'm gonna share is, but I really hope you enjoy and have a good day.